I have one damn question to ask you guys. You wanna be a teammate? You wanna be a trick teammate? You know, teaming for revenge for your audience and stuff like that? How you want an audience. But you're stuck. You don't know what to do. Maybe you don't know where to start. I'm Blinky, and I'm here to fucking help you. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> Twitch. Twitch is a social media platform where people like you, right? And you're wondering, why is it so hard to grow on Twitch? You know, if it's a live stream, where people love to watch it? No, it actually goes in a little bit deeper than that. Twitch is generally a harder platform to grow on because of how it works and the system in it. So basically, we could compare Twitch and YouTube Unlike, you know, YouTube will obviously be a lot easier to grow on because of how it works. YouTube has a search engine. Not only that, ta like, tags are really, they have to be relevant and they can really help, you know, get other people's video discovered. And not only that, even the titles help. Titles help tremendously and you really have to make them relevant to the video. And thumbnails. Don't even forget about thumbnails. Thumbnails attract viewers and attract new people into watching content. And that is why thumbnails are such a crucial like, point in trying to get your content out there. Now, that's YouTube for you. If you want to be a YouTube you know, content creator, I can definitely help you on that. Just DM me if anything. But here, we're going to talk about Twitch. Twitch generally does not have a search engine. Yes, you can search up like users or videos, video games and all that stuff or any other stuff like, you know, Twitch things or art, um, designing, uh, building, pretty much anything. But there is no specific concrete search engine like YouTube does. So generally, it is much harder for streamers to get their content out there if you just flat out streaming on Twitch, your content's not gonna grow anytime soon. So generally, what Twitch does is that they bring the most popular streamers or streams up front on their front page, um, generally the ones who are live. And sometimes they'll have recommended channels on the side. But generally these are big streamers or maybe streamers that are relevant to the one that you're watching. Now, how to get stuff out there how do you get your you know channel out there and have people watch your stuff to get your niche and to get your audience your type of people basically the first thing that we're going to talk about is content first of all content creating is pretty much broad you hear it everywhere you know a youtube you know youtuber can be a content creator a twitch streamer can be a content creator an instagrammer can also be a content creator Generally, it's a very broad term. So what you're doing, you're literally creating content. It doesn't have to be videos. It could be pictures, uh, pieces of writing, literally anything. So with which, what you really want to do is get your clips, maybe even edit them. I don't know, learn it from a tutorial or something. Doesn't even, you don't even need to edit. But I think I would definitely strongly encourage you to do so. Um, get your clips of anything that you love to do or enjoy doing, video games, whatever, and post it out there. Social media is there for a reason. Use it to your advantage. There are millions, hundreds, maybe not millions, but hundreds of platforms to use out there. People use it every single day. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, Twitter. Twitter is the big one. Instagram is the big one. And you know what are important? Tags. Tags are so crucial to your own growth. That means that your content is going to be out there. Millions of tags, different tags, and hundreds of people are going to look at these tags and look at your content. Even if two or three or four people. It still makes a huge difference. So it's so important to build your content and think about what do I want to do? What am I bringing to the table for these people? And what is my most important thing that, you know, makes me, me? For example, I play Overwatch. I'm known for playing Overwatch. People will want to come to see my choice to plays for that reason. So I'm keeping that as my niche. That is my important thing. That is who I am. And people will want to see me play Twitter and just 
enjoy me for being me, you know? So it's important to get your content out there, your clips out there, your videos out there, and bring out who you are. You know, meet people. That's great. But we'll be talking about that at the end of the video. Anyway, that is content creating. That's bringing out your content to other social media platforms. That is super, super important. Also, um, the next thing, basically, consistency. Consistency is such a huge, huge part of your, you know, streaming or video content creating. It doesn't even matter. But consistency is literally the biggest key part to becoming successful in the online world. And I'm literally telling you this. If you want to succeed at anything, especially Twitch streaming, you need to be consistent with your, your schedule. Schedule, super important. Find what, you know, what works for you. And hell, you can even like get recommendations from other people. Ask them, what are your time zones? What times work for you? And people can start coming in, you know, to tweak it a little bit, find what works best for you, generally. You can also, you know, tweak it, whatever. Um, but consistency is so important because it means that people will want to come to you and they will know what times you're going live and all that stuff. And the more you do that, the more new people will come in and the more they will know when you're going to go live. And they'll be like, hey, you know, this is a streamer that I know. Definitely go check them out. You know, this is their live. This is their, you know, time that they're going to they're gonna go live. All that stuff. And that's why it's so important. If you don't have a schedule and you're just streaming at random times, do you really think people are going to come watch you? Maybe two or three, but not all of them, right? Or the majority. So it's so important to stick to a schedule consistently. This also goes for content creating. So important to start, you know, posting maybe twice a week or once a week or so to keep that growth coming up, you know, steadily, sort of. So you don't want to just upload and not upload for the next month or so. You're not going to see any growth happen at all. It's important to stay consistent on your schedule. You know, even if it takes a lot of work, it will be worth it. It's just, you know, gotta trust in the process. Um, the last thing which I was gonna talk about is engagement. So important. Another really, you know, important key part. Engage with people. Collaborate. You know, work with people together. Help people. You know, learn many, many things. Since I started streaming, I've learned so many things from Twitch how it works, how to get my content out there. And I've met so many tons of amazing people and streamers. And this is so important. When you engage with people or streamers or you check out their streams or whatever, they are, they're, they're gonna tend to check out yours too. And that's important to build a community, to build an audience, to build the people that will want to watch you. So once you start doing all these three important key parts, you're gonna start, you know, seeing growth in your, in your Twitch channel. It's important to connect with people, connect with sponsorships. But that's only pretty much if you get like kind of big. But be careful with the sponsorships. But that's for another video, probably. Um, but yeah, just engage with people, connect with people with the thing that you love doing. Like you love Overwatch, go check out Overwatch streamers. You know, be friends with Overwatch players. You know, all that stuff. Things that are relevant to what you do. Doesn't even need to be one game. It can be multiple, you know. But it's important to get like a niche and find what works best for you. Um, also, you know, joining Discord servers can really help. Facebook groups, all that stuff. Introduce yourself. Show people who you really are. Show them what you're good at. What do you like to do? People want to know that. They want to see a genuine connection with you. That is so important to the streamer and their audience. People who are watching you are actual people's feelings. They want to see that you care for them. That they, they feel connected somehow. And that's important. Once they feel connected, once they can laugh with your jokes and all that stuff, that is a genuine bond. And it's important for the streamer to really show them that they appreciate them and all that stuff. So it's vice versa. So that, that's why engagement is so important to grow your audience and all that stuff. So these are the three most important key points. Content creating, social media platforms, all that stuff, getting your clips out there, using whatever you can to get your thought well known and bringing these people to your Twitch channel. Um, consistency. Consistency is so important. Make sure you find what works best for you. Your times, your days, where you're going to stream and all that stuff. Because consistency will definitely, definitely bring people to your channel. 
they're, they're gonna remember you. Hey, oh yeah, she's gonna go live at two, you know, on Wednesday. I'm gonna go check it out. Consistently. Also, remember to post like little um, countdown timers as much as you can. I do it on Instagram and it really helps a lot because people do notify themselves. Um, last but not least, engagement. Really important to engage with people, engage with different communities, you know, make new friends, learn from them, and people will, they're gonna bound to come to you. It's important to create a special, genuine bond between the streamer and their audience. The more you do that, the more people will come, you know, fall into you. That is exactly why, that when you have a positive vibe, you're gonna interact, you're gonna attract people of the same vibe around you. For example, if you're toxic, you're literally going to attract toxic people. But if you're not, you're going to attract the same type of people as you are. You get my, you get my vibe. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope this helped out. If it doesn't, just let me know. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments. Or just DM me. I would, I would definitely help you out. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. And my next stream, well, you know my stream. My schedule is under my Twitch panel and desktop, if you can see it. It's also there on mobile, you can see it too. Um, but yeah, you know, tune in for the next stream where I'm going to do it and tune in for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching and blinky out.